13 seconds against the champion. Bang. Cold. Done. Dead. <laughs> that is insane. 13 seconds and puts him to sleep. Definitely one of my favorite sporting moments ever. The most brutal Conor McGregor UFC moment. Without wasting any more time, guys, let's get straight into it. And with Conor, you know, there, there are many, definitely a lot of adjectives that you can use to, you know, amplify or to describe how great McGregor has been throughout his UFC career. And even if you think he isn't, you know, the greatest f MMA fighter of all time, one thing you cannot deny me is how instrumental uh, Conor has been to the UFC, how important he has been to to build like this empire that the, that the UFC is now. And he's definitely the most iconic MMA fighter of all time. Like this man, he has brought so many fans to, to the world of MMA me included and this is why i i the, the way i'm trying to expand this channel to talk about more sports football basketball american football mma and yeah i just thought if we're going to start talking about mma the first video i want to make is about connor and you're just seeing it he oh this this fight against nate this i think i think this was the second fight the second fight against nate diaz mcgregor came to kill him like mcgregor came with everything he wanted to destroy nate diaz with everything he had. Look at that. Bro, that was clean. Clean. Yeah, my favorite fight with McGregor, of course, is that fight against Aldo. Knocking out a UFC champion in 13 seconds after talking all that trash. And it, it, I think these videos are mainly um, following McGregor's prime. So, the, you know, before, before 2018, before 2017, I think this is mainly after 2016. And this was when Conor was at his best. Like, this was skinny McGregor. This was McGregor that was willing and able to destroy anyone and everything. This was McGregor that went, what, 13 and 0 or 12 and 0? This guy was unstoppable. McGregor in his prime, as, you know, as chaotic and as quote unquote bad the past few years have been, especially since the middle of a fight, Prime McGregor was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Bro, just the level of concentration and precision, the perfect technique he he displays here. That quick dodge and b the these clips are slowed down because they are happening so quick. It's him three times four in a row. Imagine. Even here against Habib, he did lose, but kind of still put up a fight, man. His striking technique is just beautiful, a thing of beauty. So much precision. Yeah, and yeah. So I was talking about like this, Mc the thirteen and Omar McGregor. Like this guy, he was he used to go into the cage and just try and kill dudes. Like, oh my days. Perfect power, perfect technique, perfect precision. He, he 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 was such an intelligent fighter as well. He was able to read the game so well. <sighs> Look at that. It just keeps going. Look at this left kick. Ow. Oh my days. Imagine getting, imagine getting kicked in the face like that. That's insane. <laughs> Good, bro. Shout out to this guy for getting in the cage. Getting kicked in the face like that. That's just silly, man. That's just silly. Kicked him perfect, and, he, and then he kicked him, and, and then he just kept going after him. And head, uh, I mean, um, punched to the head. Just kept going after him. Kept going after him. Split seconds. Dodge that. Bang straight away. Put him on the floor so quickly. You know, McGregor McGregor scheduled to go and fight Michael Chandler this year. He's announced it on his what was it, Instagram or whatever. He announced it at the beginning of the year. And I can't wait, man. 
the main reason why I, I've got into MMA so much, the main reason why I like the I like the UFC so much is mainly because of McGregor. Yes, he's a showman. Yes, he knows how to sell a fight. Yes, McGregor, you know, it is a funny character. You know, that loud Irish guy that does is not scared to swear and intimidate his team, his uh, opponents. That is definitely a plus. But at the same time, and we're seeing in this 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 video is what eight minutes long. We're seeing in this video like the only reason why all of that worked the only reason why mcgregor's trash talk worked is because he when he got on the ring he was really putting dudes to sleep like his tight his striking his technique everything perfect prior mcgregor when he was hungry when he had nothing this guy was just absolutely something else you know as you begin to get more money as you begin to get more fame so that that hunger like fight fight fighting against someone else that's trying to kill you or at least put you to sleep it, it's not easy so when you no longer have to do that to survive some of that drive some of that determination and what really made you great goes away and it's understandable but you know i just hope i'm just glad he's coming back to fight michael chandler and we'll definitely be here to watch that fight. Hopefully we can make a live stream or something and and follow that fight. Yeah, this second fight against Nate Diaz, this guy was hopeless. He did very well in the first fight to beat McGregor, but in that second fight, McGregor just came with everything, man. He was ready to destroy this guy. Look at this this knockout was clean. Dodges bang. That left hook, bro. Even here against Dustin, even though he lost, like this isn't a fight. Even the ones that McGregor lost, this isn't a fight that you can say that this guy was bad. It's, it, it, it's a fight. Like you win, you lose. It's, it's not like a game of basketball or a football Champions League game where you, where you've got more than one chance to try to try and beat your opponent. A fight is exactly that. You is the one chance you get, you get knocked out, game's over. You get TKO'd, the fight's over. So you win some and you lose some. But at least something I can say about McGregor is that even in the fights that he's lost, he, he was still able to put up a show. Definitely be a, a, one of the most impressive and entertaining fighters in the world. Bro, mastering those techniques. When it comes to striking, there isn't anything this guy hasn't mastered. Oh, this, this is my favorite moment. This is my favorite moment of Conor, man. Come on. My favorite moment. This is one of my favorite moments in sports, period. 13 seconds against the champion. Bang. Cold. Done. Dead. <laughs> that is insane. 13 seconds and puts him to sleep. Definitely one of my favorite sporting moments ever. Oh, these two are. Oh. oh. Oh, it's just beautiful. MMA is just beautiful. It's one of those because as much as I like basketball, for example, as much as I like football. There are a lot of games in basketball, basketball and football where the players just go to sleep. Like 81 games in the NBA regular season, like players aren't, they won't be serious for all 81 games. However, when it comes to fighting in MMA, you have to be serious. You're fighting for your life. <laughs> this, is why this, this is why I think this sport is so entertaining. It's like, yes, you've got like. The, the punching and kicking which is cool but at the same time you know that these guys if they're not serious about fighting if they're not serious about their training they, they could end up in the hospital this is very very serious it, it just adds that extra how can i say I, I don't have the word but it just it just makes the sport so much more entertaining and so much more meaningful but anyways guys, thank you very much for watching to the end, I much appreciate it, please leave a like, please comment, subscribe, share, do all these things to please help me grow this channel, and I'll see you guys soon.